everybody. Welcome back to Crafting with Cats. Uh, I'm Colin. Um, if you like these videos and these uh, crafting events that AADL TV is putting on, please hit the like button on your YouTube so that we know that you enjoy them um, and we can put out more events of things that you guys like. Um, so today on Crafting with Cats, I am joined by three random children as usual. Um, the first child I will introduce you to, what is your name, ma'am? Lily. That is Lily. She owns a pet aardvark. No, I don't. Mm. I own a cat. And what is your name, sir? Jonah. Jonah. Interesting. You own a pet Tyrannosaurus. I no, see. I don't. Oh, okay. And this, whoa, who is this lady? <laughs> What's your name? Rowan. Rowan, your hair grew since the last time. <laughs> Something is different about that hair. I don't know. Interesting. Well, today we're going to do a few different crafts. We'll see what we have time for. The first craft we are going to do is an underwater scene, almost a 3D scene with fish and with seaweed and under the water. Um, and all you need is paper. You're going to need some colored paper. Blue paper. So we use different colors of blue for our sea. That's the kind of the main thing. Um, doesn't matter which color of blue, whatever color you have around that you like. This is going to be our water. And then in the water, we're going to make some fish and some seaweed. So um, just any color scrap paper, and you can draw whatever fish you want and cut them out. So you're going to need, what do we need to cut with? Scissors. 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 Rowan, you have scissors too. And we're also going to need things to draw with. So it's a good idea to have like a pen or a pencil. And then something to color those things More with, because you're going to want to decorate and color, right? So markers and lots of stuff. And then finally, all you need other than scissors and paper and markers is some glue. We need the glue. So we have glue sticks, which is probably the easiest. And we all can, we can use regular glue too. That's fine, right? Right, Jonah? Is that fine? Yeah. You also need a cat. Do you have a cat at home? Um, we had one, but apparently she does her own thing. She was on the table and then, you know. Yeah, oh, there she is. Big chunk. There, Luna. Yeah. So if you don't have chunky. a cat at home, this might not work. But just do your best and follow along, okay? Yeah. All right. So here's the super secret part that makes it magical and makes this jump out at you. First, you need your, your ocean. This is going to be your ocean, right? Yep. Any color blue you want. So watch this. Take it the long way and fold it. Oh, fold it in half. The long way. So if this is my long way, I'm going to fold it exactly in half. Wait, oh, it's a hot dog. Like fold. that. Not a hamburger, a hot dog. That's a hot dog fold. See this? My page. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It probably should have been perfect. That would have made it work better. Um... All right, so let me fold this a little bit better. I did it perfect for Daddy, see? Okay. This is good. Lily's is perfect. Rowan's is perfect. Hold on, let's see, Rowan. You, how'd you do? Not all the way. Yeah, good. All right, now. Okay. All we do here <clears throat> is you can draw lines if you want to, or you can just start cutting. But we're going to make, like, squiggly waves. Right here, do you see this folded part? Like that? You can draw here. You know what I'll do is I'll draw some lines so you can see what I'm gonna cut. But you don't even have to draw the lines, you can just cut. Watch this. Don't forget your sound effects, everyone. Very important. Use, so, uh, if, uh, leave some space at the top or bottom and make a squiggly line from this bended folded part. Here's a folded part, right? So make waves and leave space at the end. Don't go all the way to the end. You're going to want to leave at least an inch, maybe more. So again, squiggly wavy lines and I'll stop right there. Squiggly wavy lines. I'll stop right there. I'm going all the way from the edge. It doesn't matter how squiggly or non-squiggly your waves are either. At the very bottom, I'm just going to decide this is the bottom. I'm going to stand this thing up. So this will be my bottom down here. I don't want to get too close to that bottom. You see my line there? It's kind of, uh, how's that go? Is that? 
I'm kind of far away from that bottom. It's going to give us a good base to stand up on. Like this. Like this. Um, if we make it too skinny on the bottom, the whole thing might fall over. So now that we've made those lines, that's what I'm going to cut. I'm just going to cut on those lines. Just like Lily's. Yep. Well, it's thick enough or yeah. skinny or too skinny? Um, Don't shoot. Here, I'll... Ro, you start cutting those. Scissors. Cut those lines. I'll make one for Ro, and she wanted help. So, again, to show you, I folded my page in half. Now, on this folded line, I'm going to start making squiggly lines to cut. Or, honestly, I'm not even going to make lines. I'm just going to start cutting. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to leave some... Room. All right. There we go. Now remember, I'm going to leave some space at the edge because you'll see later, but we're going to fold that edge and help this whole thing stand up. These are the worst scissors. Curvy, curvy. So this is the ocean scene that we are going to put everything in. And all, then we're going to make a bunch of fish and seaweed, and we're going to decorate it however we want. You could put bubbles in there. Mm. Bubbles. Bubbles. I'm going to put fish coming out. Now. You didn't That's do any. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, so now I'm just going to dis I'm going to figure that maybe this is the bottom of my page. So I'm going to leave some good space there to hold, let the whole thing stand up. I'm, I'll maybe make one more line here, because that's probably good there, right? So, okay, there's my squiggles, there's my C. All right, so look at that. We have something. We have something that opens up. Wow, is that it? Is that all we need to do? No. No, that doesn't do the trick, does it? No, I don't do the trick. I'm gonna wait a little bit because I know everyone okay. is still cutting, right? Lily, you've got yours cut pretty well. Good, good. Yeah. Rowan's still working on hers and, and I'm doing Jonah's. Actually, Rowan and I are gonna trade, right, Rowan? Rowan's doing Jonah's. All right, so she's on her last cut. Once she gets that done, then, I'll show you what to do. It's really easy. This is where the magic happens. We always have magic with our crafts, right, Jonah? Hey, let's not have guns at the table. All right, Ro, you got it. So the thickest part is like this part. So I think the thickest part should be the bottom. That gives it something to stand on. So turn that upside down, just like that, right? Now watch this. All we do is choose which way to do something. And every uh, every other one of these we're gonna pull inside. So one goes out, hard to explain, but easy to show. One is out, one we're gonna pull like that, pull inside. Then skip one, because one goes out, then skip the next one, or make the next one go in. You see that? Every other one, I'm gonna pull back and behind us. Can everyone see that, like that? Like this? And kind of fold it. Oh, uh -huh. So it's stuck out good. Ooh. You need help, Lil? What do you think? Uh, almost. How do you fold it back in? Though? You don't have to fold it back in. What do you mean? To make a triangle thingy. It's not going to stay out. Daddy, there's only... Okay, pull it out. Pull it out. No, 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 stop. Mm -hmm. And pull this one in. There. All right. Something like that. Cool. Yep, we're not done yet. We're not done. Good job, Ron. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. You got those folded, so pull these. Uh, okay. Wait. Wait a minute. So if this is our bottom, we want to do this one backwards and skip one. Then do this one backwards and skip one. Then do the top one. 
backwards. Sure. So just every other one skips. Now, guess what? This still is not going to stay up, is it? Ah! Ah! All we have to do is decide where our, the bottom of this thing is. So this is my bottom. You can see how it sticks out this way. So I'm going to fold it's my edges. Bad. See how I left this room? I'm going to fold this the opposite way of how this... If this is sticking out that way, I'm going to fold this inside. And then same with this. I'm going to fold this inside. See, like that. Now, look at that stand up. Okay? Like this? Yeah, you don't have to make it as tight. That's okay. Yep, just like that. And just like that. Exactly right. So, if this is how yours goes, Rowan. That one's actually mine. Oh, yeah, we'll switch. So that's yours. <laughs> so we'll do Jonah's. So if the bottom is sticking out that way, I'm going to fold this in inside like this. Yeah, toward me. And same with the other side. I'm going to fold it toward me. And so now, it doesn't have to be perfect either. Oh, whoops. I just did this backwards. No, 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 that's why. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I just need to fold it better. Okay, so this is our ocean that we have a scene that we're going to make. So all we need to do now is we're going to draw. We have lots and lots of scrap paper of different colors. We have paper that is yellow. We have writing on it. We're just going to use the other side. We've got greens, we've got oranges, we've got blues. So we're going to draw lots of different um, fish. We're going to draw octopus, we're going to draw squid, we're going to draw starfish, we're going to draw... Um, oh, ooh, what's that, Ro? It's an octopus. I'm just still finishing it. Perfect. And you've got... Now, what's that, Jonah? Squid. It's a squid. Oh, I've got a squid. squid. That's awesome. Ooh, what do you got there? A whale. A whale. And we're going to draw... Um, ooh, you know what I'll start with is I have a scrap piece of paper. It's green. I'm going to do seaweed coming up from the bottom. That's kind of the cool part that makes things look real. And I'm just, I'm not even going to draw it. I'm using this side, so I'll show you. I'm just going to go. Again, those are those sound effects that really make it important. Look at that. Kind of a wavy piece of grass, right? Just a wavy so piece really of grass. Hard to do, like, the little so now I'm going to stick it wherever I want on the ground, on the bottom of the seabed, right? Or the aquarium. It could be the aquarium. So I'm going to use my trusty glue stick. Daddy, like, okay. I'm going to show you. That looks pretty awesome. And you don't have to cut out all the yellow. I mean, you could, but that's a lot of work. I wouldn't do it. So, hmm, where should we stick it? Jonah, this is yours. Where should we stick it? Bed. Oh, good. Perfect. Where should we stick the seaweed? Right here? That's perfect, Will. Good job. All right. We're going to stick our seaweed on the bottom. Right there. Stick it somewhere where it's going to stick, you know, stick out. All right, Jonah. Let's do that other one. Let's put some glue on it. I need to do seaweed first. Here, you do. Put your glue on there. Where do you want that? Is that mine? Again? Okay. Stick it anywhere you want. It's a good idea down at the bottom because it's on the floor of the ocean bed. I'm going to do it way over there. And let's do... I like having two of them right by each other. I'm going to do a small one right next to... Actually, look at this. I'm going to use this silly part right there. I'm going to use this silly part. That's kind of cool. Stick it right next to the other one. And that's good. Alright, Jonah, we need some... Fish! 
And a whale. Are you going to cut out that whale and stick it somewhere? So, so far, look at that. Cut it out. That's how this whale. is going to be. I yeah. Cut it out. Well, let's stick it in the back. Watch this, you guys. You need stuff in the back, too, to make this look like it's really going to um, okay. jump out at you. Whoa, that's giant. We don't want to take too much room in here, do we? It's a Christmas tree. Yeah, that is a Christmas tree. All right, which one do you want to put in the back, Jonah? This one. All right, let's put our glue. Down right here. All right, let's put our glue. Where'd our glue stick go? Sorry, I have it. Over here. All right, put your glue on where you want it. And you want your fish to be swimming, right? So they don't want to be on the ocean floor. They want to be... Unless they're looking for food. Oh, that's true. That's very true. All right, don't cover the whole thing. Where do you want to stick it, Jonah? This is the bottom. You want to stick it in the bottom? Right down here? Yeah. And that's peach. Look at that. That's so cool. He's swimming back there. Okay. Now you have a whale. The whale is going to be next to him. Where's the friend? Do you want him, the whale in the back or in the front? Where's the blue stick? Jonah's got it. No, the little one. Oh. Whoa, Rowan, look at what you got. What do you got going on over there? Um, I'm trying to get the octopus to hide under... I'm behind a seaweed. Mmm, cool. Okay. All right, John. You've got a whale. Do you want the whale in the front of your ocean? Let's put him in the front. What do you think? Maybe up here or up here? Whales are usually on the bottom. Whales are on the bottom? Usually. Do you want him back behind here, like with your friend? Yeah. Yeah? Got a big whale. Wow. He's hiding because he's good. That is cool, you guys. So as you can see, you can start to decorate this any way you want. You can do star uh, sea stars. You can do fish. You can use whatever you like. Oh, uh, seahorses are cool too. Yeah. All right. So, here's another fish. There's another fish. A lot of orange fish. We should use lots of different colors, though, to make this really colorful for lots of different fish, right? Really, how do you do so far? Well, I've done seaweed and starfish, and I'm going to glue on my squid I've made. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. Need a. I mean, putting things in the back is a really good idea. Yep, I'm going to put my squid in. Alright, let's put one in the front, Jonah. What kind of fish is this? Who knows? It's a fish. it's a rocket fish. It's a fish. Looks like a rocket fish to me. It's a fish. Put them right there. Hmm. I need a big enough... Wait. Alright, Jonah, can you use a, a different color? Ooh, we need pink! Like this, Daddy? Yeah. Let's see. Dad, can you do yeah. it? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. You see it back there? Um, okay. Can I have a pink one? A sea star? Yeah, I can. What color sea star should we do? On the pink paper? No, on that. On the orange paper? We have orange right here. We already did orange. You have lots of orange. Let's do a different color. Let's do pink. Green. Oh, green sea star. Great idea. Great idea. Mm, so I'm just using scrap paper. And sea stars aren't perfect, are they? They are growing organisms. So they, every one of them is different. Some of them have big six, wobbly six, legs. And some of them have like small six legs, legs too. Some people, some of them have six legs or really? seven legs. Yeah, I've heard it. Wow. And then I'm gonna cut it out with kid scissors, which is really hard for a goofy grown up like me that has big hands. But I'm gonna try. And then Jonah, you can decide where you want to put it. 
Where should we put it on your thing? Look, so here, look at it in the front to see what it looks like and decide where you want it to go. Oh, you know what you could use for your fish too? White. Just a normal white piece of paper. The more colors you use, the cooler this thing looks. If it's all one color, it's not going to look as fun. But if there's lots and lots of colors, I like it's mine. pretty awesome. Fishies. Very similar to the world we live in, don't you think? If everything looks the same, it's pretty boring. Yep. But if we have lots of different things and different people and people from everywhere, it makes it interesting and fun. The grass looks green. Dang it, I need to draw one. All right. Well, let's plug this in and then. Oh, I'm going to use a white for the bubbles. Ooh, bubbles is a great bubbles, idea. Bubbles, bubbles. bubbles is a great idea. Ooh, okay. Well, this is Dad's version of a sea star. Not as perfect as it could be, but. Jonah, do you want to. Where do you want to glue that in? Here, I'll put the glue on and you stick it. Not to... Sea star in the back or the front? In the back? Yeah, we're This is looking pretty cool. Daddy, where are whale's flippers? Whale's flippers? Well, I would say a whale's flipper is right, right up there, maybe. Right there. Okay. All right, you guys. Well. You guys are doing a great job at home. I can see that you're all following along. We're going to work on this a little bit more, but I have one more quick craft to show you. It's really easy and it's really fun. Um, so join us over. Uh, let's see, where should we go? Oh, we should go to the other side of the kitchen. All right, guys. So Lily here is joining me. The other two kids are still working on their underwater 3D scene and I'm going to show you a very quick and fun craft that is like you can actually race these things. These are moving racing inchworms made out of paper. I need some scrap paper. Don't get the thick stuff like construction paper. You're just going to want a regular floppy old piece of paper. If it's color paper that's even better. Um, or you can use white paper. This happens to be yellow. So yellow. real fast. All you need is scissors and a piece of paper and at the end you're gonna need a straw because you have to blow to make this thing go. So watch this. All you need is a strip of paper. So I'm gonna take a strip that doesn't have any writing on it. It doesn't matter if there's writing or not, really. And I'm just gonna cut straight across so it's kind of straight, okay? So I'm just gonna cut mine. And it doesn't really matter how thick. You, you kind of want it thin, but it doesn't matter. You can try to cut a straight line. Oh, there's some weird girl with weird hair and a cat. All right, this is my strip. This is all you need. Now you actually need half of this. So I'm gonna fold it in half and make two. That way Lily has one and I have one. So I'm gonna fold it exactly in half and then I'm just gonna cut it. And this is the fastest, after this is super fast craft that's easy. All right. Cut it in half, one for me, one for Lily. Which one would you like? Um, this one, please. Okay. Okay, so here it is. You paying attention? Here's all we got. Fold your, decide which side you want to be the side that is the nice side. So mine doesn't have any writing, so this will be my outside. So I'm gonna fold it in, fold it in half. Easy part, right? Fold it right in half, make sure the bottoms match. And fold it nice and tight. Great. You got that, Lil? Mm -hmm. Fold it right in half? That doesn't have to be perfect, don't worry. All right, now now that we fold it in half, open it back up. You got two halves, right? So choose one half, and I'll say it's this one. We're gonna fold this into the, up to that middle line. Fold it right up to that middle. Now again, see how it's folded with the inside? We're folding it inward not outward against that fold. This is my fold. We're going to fold it right inward, right up to that line, and make it tight. Okay, you're not done yet. Now, fold that same thing. Keep it folded. Fold it again 
to that middle line. Hold it right up to the middle. Don't, don't go over the line. It makes it harder. Go right up to that middle line and fold it. Got it? So we just did two folds inwards in towards our fold. Two folds. Great. Keep it that way. Flip it over and do the exact same thing with the other side. If this is our fold, boing, 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 fold it in towards itself, up towards that halfway line once, and fold it. Now fold it in on itself again, keeping it folded, fold it right towards the middle. Twice, one, two. Now we should have two sides, and we still have kind of our fold in the middle, right? So let's fold that one last time, fold these two halves together. That's it. This is what we're making. It's crazy. Watch this. So, how is yours, Will? Yep, that's exactly right. Got it. Got yours? Here's the cool part. I'm just going to make mine a little bit rounded. This will give your caterpillar a shape. So I'm just going to slice. It's hard for me to cut round because this is thick now that I folded it. So I'm just going to maybe cut the um, corners, make the corners to be rounded. So I'm just going to go snip. Sn Sorry, you can't see. Snip, snip, and snip. That's it. We have just completed our inchworm. What? How is that an inchworm? That looks nothing like an inchworm. That looks maybe like a yellow ticket of some sort. Will you just stop? Will you just wait and just watch for a minute? Open it up. Oh. Right. Oh. My triangles are big. That's good though. That's super cool. Now watch. When you put this on a table, if you notice, oh, last last but not least, we're going to draw a little face so we know which side is the front. And it doesn't matter which side. Who cares? It doesn't matter. I'm going to draw a little face just like this. Uh, okay, well, where's my, this is on? And you can draw whatever kind of face you want. I'm going to make mine easy and just do one eye. Two eyes and a little smiley face. There. I got an inchworm. Now watch this. Did you get a straw? I'm getting a straw. I thought I brought two straws. Whoops. You have to figure out how to do this. But if you blow through a straw right onto the top, you can get it to move. Now you don't want to blow too far because you're just scooting it. You want to blow right on the center. Isn't that cool? Right on. All right. Thank you, guys. We're going to head right back into the kitchen and show you guys our finished 3D ocean scene. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Join us in the kitchen. Okay. Everybody, thanks for joining us today on AADL TV. Um, if you liked what you saw, be sure to hit the like button or subscribe so that you can see more amazing crafts from AADL TV. Um, we hope you have a, a great rest of your week. Uh, and that you're staying healthy and happy. Bye, everybody.